Thanks, Francis. I'm sure a lot of us can agree with the sentiments in your speeches. This is about being heard today. It is about making sure that we, as the people that are working in education and the people that have got children in education in Canterbury, have the right to be heard. Um, I'd now like to introduce David Shearer, the Labour Party leader, who has been very happy to rearrange his schedule to be here today. So please welcome him. Thanks very much. It's wonderful to be here and supporting you today. Um, I've been here many times talking to many schools. My first trip down here was to talk to Aurelia School. And I'm um, great to see you down there. And I just want to tell you one, well, two little stories from the meeting that, that was held with the parents from Aurelia School. One parent got up and said, you know, we've faced 10,000 earthquakes and our school is still intact, but heck yeah, Parada is going to bring it down. And I thought, isn't that so sad? The other thing that a parent said was, when my child goes to school, I know my child is safe. I go to work, my child goes to school, and I know that my child is safe. It's not only about safety, it's about that child, after all of the earthquakes and everything that they've gone through, being able to be in a familiar environment, be around their friends, in, a, in an environment that is caring for them and helping them cope with the situation. Now, isn't it so cynical for a government to close down, in that case, a 98-year-old school right before it, felt it, it completes its, uh, its 100 years? I mean, that's, a, that's extraordinary. Same community, no damage, and yet they're going to close that school down. So I'm going to... So I'm here to say to you today that we will fight this with you. We will take on the government on behalf of the schools of Christchurch and of the communities of Christchurch because ultimately it's not just about schools, it's about communities. It are about communities that have the school as their centre, as their heart. And as Nikki said, this is not just simply about making do because of an earthquake. We know that some schools have to close. There's going to have to be some changes. We all accept that. But there's another agenda going on here. And I want to say two things about that. One is there's an agenda to close schools in Christchurch that don't need to be closed, that are at the centre of their communities. And the other thing is, the rest of New Zealand needs to take a good look at this because this is the template that's going to be rolled across right across New Zealand as well. So we will be fighting against both of those. Now, we've asked the tough questions in Parliament. Some of you might have actually seen Hekia Parada responding to those questions in Parliament. Not very well. <laughs> She's down here now trying to do damage control going around a bunch of schools in a phony consultation process where the answer's already been decided upon and she's just going through that process. We will hold the government to account. We will, hold, we will ask the tough questions and we will stand beside you in your quest to keep the schools of Christchurch open. I give you my pledge. Thank you very much. <laughs>